Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Nizzy Sports Chat. I am your host, Nizzy. And in this video, you guys, we're going to be breaking down the Raptors' heartbreaking loss last night to the Clippers by a score of 105 to 100. Now, this was a good game to watch, you guys, as a Raptors fan. It sucked watching us lose at the end there, but uh, we fought tooth and nail right till the end. I love the fight from this team. A few mistakes along the way. I think Nick Nurse should have kept a few other guys out there in the fourth quarter. I think he fucked up the rotations a little bit. Uh, there's just a few guys going off. I thought Jalen Harris should have played the entirety of that fourth. I'm not really sure why he pulled him out and thought it would be a better option to throw in Stanley Johnson and, or Utah. Because um, Jalen Harris was having a great game. He was doing really good defensively for us. Uh, he had 11 points in 13 minutes. And he played a little bit of the fourth there. And then to close out the game, uh, Nick Nurse decided to go back to our starting lineup where we had Fred Van Vliet at the point guard, Yuta was the shooting guard, Stanley Johnson at the small forward, and then Pascal and Kem, per uh, Kem Birch at the uh, power forward and center slot there. I just didn't understand why we would go back to Yuta and Stanley. I could understand maybe one of them, but they combined the total combination between those two for the game was 11 points. Frickin' Jalen Harris had 11 points himself, and he only played 13 minutes, and he didn't miss a shot. I mean, that dude had the frickin' nice-looking pure shooting stroke that game, man, if you guys watch the game. Jalen Harris was just bombing in three-pointers, nothing but net. Had a really nice drive to the rack where he got fouled hard. Well, he should have got fouled. They didn't call a foul, but basically it looked like he got fouled pretty hard and was still able to uh, finish through contact and get the lay-in. Really liked what I seen from him in the 13 minutes on the floor. Um, I think we would have won the game, to be honest with you, if we would have left him out there for the entirety of the fourth. Just mainly because uh, as soon as we went back to that starting lineup, Freddie and Siakam were the only guys shooting the ball. So for like a six-minute stretch at the end of the game, like the Clippers knew exactly what we were doing because it was two guys only shooting the ball every time. They pretty much only passed to each other. And they just went on an absolute cold streak at the end of the game, which is no surprise because they knew what we were going to do. And we had no one else on the floor other than those two guys that could shoot and score. Nobody else. Nobody else. So why on earth would we not put Jalen Harris out there who's banging in his shots, looking like he's got a really nice stroke, can even put uh, drive it into the paint a little bit as well and finish strong at the rack, was playing really good defense as well. Um, I just don't understand it, man. Maybe because the guy's been injured and he hasn't played a lot this year. I don't know. I just think Nick Nurse cost us this one just with putting in weird rotations. Um, same thing. He ran a long time with Bembry and Stanley Johnson on the floor. Two guys who love to turn it over and are just sloppy with the ball. I just didn't understand some of those rotations. Malachi had another tough night again. I don't think he made a basket again. I think he had one point from shooting a free throw. Um, but another tough night from him in like 13, 14 minutes on the floor. Couldn't get much going. So I'm not too upset that they didn't keep playing him. But Jalen Harris, like you got to run your hot hand, man. That guy could have had 20 points. I bet you if you left Jalen Harris out there for the entirety of the fourth, I bet you that guy finishes the night with 20 points. And uh, we come out with the dub because he was on fire. And he was playing really, really uh, tough, tough nose defense as well. Um, so really disappointing. That could be the season for us right there. I believe we're three and a half or four games back of... Uh, the Washington Wizards now. So we'll just run through some stats though real quick in the game, you guys. So of course we got out rebounded 42 to 37. There's step one in the losing system, getting outboarded, giving them more shots. Um, something we need to be better at, obviously. We should have been better at it too, especially with uh, Serge Ibaka not being there, their main center, um, who's a rebound machine when he wants to be. So we should have done better in that aspect. Obviously coming off a of back to back, guys are a little sluggish, a little tired. Um, but yeah, lost the rebounding 40, 42 to 37. Same with the field goal percentage, 52% we allowed them to shoot from the field as well as 44% from three. Uh, it's just too high, man. Got to close out better on those three-point shots. Um, and then same with us, we only shot 34%, right? So not a great shooting night for us from behind the arc. Our field goal percentage was formidable, 46% is not atrocious. Um, we were right there, man. Even our defense wasn't terrible for that uh well, the first and second quarter, we played pretty well. As the third and fourth, we just fell apart and lost our juice in that second half, really, is what happened. 
a couple bad rotations out there. I thought Nick Nurse put out some bad rotations just with too many guys on the floor who can't make buckets. You know what I mean? Like Jalen Harris was one one of those guys who was draining him last night. You kind of want to leave him out there a little more just to give some support to Pascal and Fred. So they're not, you know, they shot 50 shots or 48 shots between the two of them. I mean, you'd like to see that dialed back. But I don't blame him for shooting that much because there's no one else who can fucking shoot. I mean, Jalen Harris was shooting, but then he didn't play hardly. 13 minutes ain't shit. Should have had 20 plus minutes in that game, in my opinion. Um, Because, yeah, Fred and Siaka both shot 10 of 24 each from the field, so 41%. Not that great. Freddie, that's okay. It's not fantastic shooting, but for a point guard, anything north of 40% is all right. You know what I mean? Um, But for Siakam, you'd like to see it a little higher, right? Just because he is a power forward, getting in and getting a lot closer range shots. So a little bit unfortunate, obviously, coming off of back-to-back as well. These guys were, well, Siakam anyways was tired. Freddie had had rested, but uh, it's tough when you only got two guys who can consistently make shots, man. It's not easy to win like that. Ken Birch turned it on a little bit in the fourth. He was doing okay, but he was pretty quiet uh, all the rest of the game. Uh, Freddie Gillespie did a nice nice job off the bench again for us. He played pretty well again. Obviously not getting a lot of minutes, but, you know, producing in those minutes, which is important coming off the bench. So, But, yeah, Freddie finished off with 27 points, two boards, 13 assists, two steals, and a block. So great effort from Fred. Came up short, but can't be mad at the guy for that effort. Even Siakam, 24 points, seven boards. Two assists and three steals. Great effort from your top two guys. I ain't going to harp on them or say that they're trash or nothing today. They played well. Um, but like I said, when you have rotations out there where you got two guys who can score and then your other guy who's lighting it up and Jalen Harris and you decide to leave him on the bench for most of the game and don't give your two starters any help who are banging in shots, what do you expect to happen? I mean, I think this was a coaching fail on Nick Nurse's part with some of the rotations he was running out there. I thought Jalen Harris should have had way more minutes, in my opinion, unless he's dealing with that hip injury still and uh, couldn't end up going. But I don't think that was the case, to be honest with you. I'm not too sure why he decided not to play him in the fourth. Like He played for a few minutes there. And then to the end of the fourth, I think the last six minutes or so of the fourth quarter, Nick Nurse went back to that starting lineup, which just baffled me. Because we weren't doing good with the starting lineup in that first quarter either. It was once our bench unit came on at the end of the first there that we started kind of pulling away a little bit and got a little bit of a lead at the end of the first and then same thing when we took that six point lead in at half it was a lot to do with our bench players stepping up and being able to hold out for us so it really had nothing to do with Stanley Johnson or Yuta neither of those guys really played that well Bembry really didn't play that well and they all played like 30 minutes plus so it just makes no sense to me that the guys who didn't really play that well got shit ton of minutes and then the guy who played better than all of them I mean Jalen Harris had the same amount of points as Yuta and Stanley combined. And he's sitting on the bench for most of the time. It just it just baffled me. Not sure why Nick Nurse did it. He's also a stubborn coach that way. He loves to just play guys he knows. And if you're a rookie, like even look with Malachi at the start of the season. He never really started playing Malachi until everyone was injured, right? So he's quite stubborn with his rotations. I'm not going to harp on him too much because Nick Nurse is a phenomenal coach. I just thought he could have done a little bit better with who he had in there with rotations later on in the game. I was okay with the starting lineup, but once you realize that that wasn't going to get it done for you the entire night, you should have switched things up. You don't necessarily have to start that same unit in the second half. You don't necessarily have to close the game with that same unit on the floor. You know, you could have had someone off the bench close out the game. You could have had someone off the bench come in at halftime because maybe you liked what they were doing a little better. So I just thought he could have messed with the lineups a little more, adjusted a little more, uh, which would have helped out the Raptors, but... Nonetheless, a loss against the Clippers, you guys. It's going to be real tough for us now to make it into the play-in spot. I think we're three and a half or four games behind now. Um, Washington Wizards got a game coming up tonight against Milwaukee. Going to be a good game for them. If they lose that one and then lose to us, that puts us back in the race a little bit. Um, But it's still a tough road ahead, man. I looked at the last remaining schedule for us and the Wizards, and the Wizards definitely got the easier schedule. We still got a lot of tough teams to play. Um, I think the Clippers come and play us at a home game yet. Uh, we got Indiana still. We got to go play the Mavericks at their place. That's not going to be easy. So it's going to be a tough road heading out here, especially it doesn't seem like we're going to have our full uh, lineup for any games going down the stretch here. I don't think we'll have every single player available to play uh, for the remainder of the season. There's always going to be someone out resting or out with a small injury or something like that. It seems like that's the way that the Raptors management wants it to go. 
Um, but nonetheless, it is what it is, you guys. 105-100 loss to the Clippers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Do you think uh, Nick Nurse maybe should have tried some different lineups or gave Jalen Harris some more run time there in the fourth quarter? Let me know what you guys think. And uh, anyways, guys, this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat signing off. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.